With just seven days left until the USDL, the F competition in Wisconsin. This year, we're going to be bringing out two teams, Team A and Team B. You guys all come out to practice, we're working hard, we're ready to finish line. Line dancing, like all other things, you know, the, the more you practice, the better you get. So I, I do think that we, we try to push ourselves in terms of practicing as much as we can. At the end of the day, the team too, who is able to perform the best, Today's the last day that we have our props because we got we got shipped to uh, Wisconsin. So today we're just going to mainly focus on uh, dancing with uh, just on the props and making sure everything looks good and uh, everything works. Team B first, okay. We're going to go straight into the routine. We're going to do one run through. After that, we're going to practice uh, doing another run through as well. We're going to do the flag in, okay. Then uh, uh, one more full run through, and then that's it. Then we're going to move on to routine A. Uh, same thing. We're going to try to fit in two run throughs in. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up for details and then towards the end of practice uh, we're going to try to practice with the props a little bit, setting up and breaking it down. A couple of times just so that we're all on the same page. Okay? Sir, so, is there any other person that people should like, possibly like, like sometimes bring this up? Um, we try one more part. We're going to go from the... The awkward pause is this. It's a really awkward pause. In this one. So yeah, just keep it extended longer. It doesn't matter about. Oh, like it doesn't. There's no point basically. You know, like it's it's about just how how it sounds, like the flow. Pretty good. Right. Four, three, sixty, marble. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, don't wait too long, right now you're waiting like okay. a few years. Maybe you'll want to wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Again, uh, federation competition and uh, national competition is so definitely is, is really big. You know, uh, last year we didn't do as good as we hoped, and this time around we definitely won. Uh, do the best we can, maybe a place, but no matter what, we just want to finish the routine, get it perfect, and do the best that we uh, that we can. He skips the first beat. Right now, you're going to skip the first one. Skip the first one. That last one that you're hitting. Okay. Let me hear you guys. And then play, uh, can everyone play together? Yep. Do you hear how you're hitting and they're not? Do you hear how you're hitting and they're not? There's one beat that's... It's just... No, right before that. You want me to record it? No, it's okay. Uh, ready, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Um, you guys want to try this monkey? Oh, try it again, try it again. Ready? Yeah, I think the first thing is um, the story. Uh, figuring out the props, the layout, the routine, uh, the flow. And after that, bringing that all together, seeing how what the lines can do, seeing what band, uh, what sounds, what beats could be creative, make it all uh, mesh together and make the routine uh, just flow seamlessly. I mean, even before you can even say that you're going to compete and register into the competition, there's a lot of different steps that need to go in first. I think one of the biggest things that everyone figured that sees that's a, a really big uh, stopper for a lot of teams is money, fundraising. So uh, for our team, we had to do a lot of fundraising efforts. Um, one of them, we did a t-shirt fundraiser where you know we, we sold t-shirts, uh, we sold line dance t-shirts and and all people all around the United States, you know, thankfully, you know, they, they really supported our team. They bought a shirt, you know, some proceeds went to us, some proceeds went to the company. We got um, just sponsorships and donations from, you know, our, some of our biggest supporters here where we're located and, and other places around the city of Worcester as well. A lot of decision making behind the scenes that, that goes on that it's not just about the line dancing. There's, there's, a, there's a big admin side to it as well. So, but we, we just shipped our equipment. You know, that, that took a huge planning. Even planning for the trip as well. We need to figure out the food, where we're going to be living, um, how we're going to be getting there. This year we got a rental, so a van rental, so we're going to be driving down 17 hours from uh, Massachusetts all the way down to Wisconsin. So there's just a lot of logistics that we had to figure out, but thankfully we were, we were able to do so. so. So, you know, other than line dancing, there's just a huge operations that we just got to make sure and all the pieces line up to each other. So. So that's we're going to start off uh, today with a full uh, routine and then we're going to work on some sets uh, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E uh, one more full routine uh, and after that guys we're going to practice uh, fake practice, setting of the props flag running and then that's it for the day alright guys? yes sir Um, and 
on this part here. Yeah. I think we're jumping too close to the box. Alright. Uh, you give some distance back. Uh, back this way? Yeah, you go back this way so you can have more space on the box. Alright. So you don't need to be that close. And yeah, I don't think you need to do too much of the mouth there. Alright. So down, down, that's good, and then as I move to the uh, uh, the lot of like, 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 so this one, it needs to be on you, basically. Because no, I'm like, I'm like up, and then I'm like still like getting ready. I'm like getting ready to like drop down, and it seems like it's like dropping down, like yeah. so it's like yeah. I drop down. Raising up his leg. So you try and get the, the, the paws right at the peak. And he's gonna drop down Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little too yeah. early, a little too early on that. Yeah. And then off on the Oh, just you know the the mount? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that part. Yeah. For the most part it was it just parts on you. Yeah. The only other thing the band part that I noticed in some of the just on the one. Yeah. It's just more timing for you. Yeah. That's the those are it was just a lot of just timing stuff basically. But. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, I, I do take a lot of pride in our routines. I think they're very, um, I think they've been really thought out well. You know, if you 
take a behind the scenes look at the routines, it's not created in, you know, like a week or something. It, it really, it does take maybe, you know, two, three, four weeks to actually just not, not even perform, not even anything, but just for somebody to have the routine to teach it to whoever, who, uh, whoever's performing. So I did think uh, in terms of routine, we, you know, we really go through the process of, oh, okay, like, does this make sense? Like, uh, why is the line doing that? Oh, the line should be doing this. Like, what's the storyline? Like, what's the purpose of the performance in terms of like, why is the lion doing that or this? And so I, I think that putting that much effort and time into the routine, I think does relate later on when somebody sees it because it's kind of, you know, I, I see it the same as like a well thought out movie. Like if it was a good director and they, you know, thought out the movie, the plot and everything is really well written and things like that, obviously you, you would like that movie better than kind of, you know, a movie that was just strapped, scrapped together for maybe money or profit and things like that. So I think the same aspect, I think we do a really good job at um, creating good routines. other to ourselves that um, we got to stand up to our own quality, stand up to our own standards for the team, make it a great routine that we
the stomps and go into the next part. Okay, and the two main parts is um, the monkey part. Uh, right now we're a little too slow and the band, uh, I mean the soundtrack from stop, uh, stop before we guys to the head stop. You're out, you're out right in front of everybody. So make sure hands are up, you know, look nice and strong, nice and confident, all right? We don't want to go through all these detail work and like bust our ass on all this stuff and the next thing you know you come out and you ruin those things by looking like this. You know what I mean? So, so, but yeah, I think that great job guys. Have a great job. You guys, I mean, looks so much better. Keep that high, intense, confident level in there, okay? So, okay. Your deserved score for the evening. We only settle in first place. There's one thing left that we haven't done, that you haven't done, that we haven't done. We've done everything else that we can. So we deserve everything, but there's one thing, and that's holding a champion, okay, of this federation. That's one thing that's been irking us year after year after year. Here's your score. Here's your number one, Each and every single one of you guys, you guys deserve this gold medal, okay? We've been talking about this for so many years, okay? We worked hard, put so many hours into it. You guys dedicated your time. Right, and guys, it really shows here today, okay guys? That's what it means to be part of this team. That's what it means to be part of Imperial. Guys, keep it up, okay? And like uh, the Master Chan said, okay? Championships after championships after championships. All right, guys? Yes, sir. Right, great job, guys, for being a good gold medal. Yes, sir. Job, you know, this our competition. Uh, Hong did a great job. You know, we said we came in, we said it. We're gonna learn the rules. We're gonna come in, and uh, we're gonna use it to our advantage. And we're not gonna get screwed anymore. And that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. So we said it. We came and we did it. All right, um, guys. Just always keep something in mind. It gets tougher from here. Okay, so you can see that competition is getting more stiff and stiff and stiff. It's gonna get tougher from here. So that means we can't put a, take our uh, foot off the gas pedal. We always have to just keep going 100 miles an hour. You guys, okay, the, the next the next guys, you guys are gonna be up, okay? So uh, before you know it, okay? So as competition is getting stiff, you guys are gonna get stiff. So keep that in mind, but guys, really enjoy it, all right? Yeah. Three, on three, one, two, three. Yeah.